That's another effect I love about The Witcher. Uh, that doesn't often get noticed is that you can hear the weather outside. Healthy townswoman, I don't recall seeing you here. Shit. It's all her. We meet again, Witcher. Yes, we Worked do. out that way, I guess. I suppose I should thank you for saving my ass. I suppose you should. I'm still not sure it was smart to tangle with Dewet. Of course it was. Yep. Provided you have Temeria's well-being at heart. Which we do. What do you mean? There's something afoot. Yep. You forget I'm a simple Witcher. It's like this. Before the king departed, he placed Vizima in my care. See? Smart. Seems authentic. During my absence, I entrust you with. I know you can read, Witcher, but notice both the king's seal and his signature. Oh, he's showing I us see. the document, yeah. It isn't on the other edicts. Yep. A seal can be stolen, but a signature is difficult to forge. I don't know about so that. So the royal but... edicts are fakes. Exactly. All right, well, we knew that already. All the king's men. Taller has a royal edict that appoints him caretaker of Azima in the king's absence. The document bears the king's signature and his seal. It looks like the unsigned edicts are, in fact, forged. I should keep my eyes open and see how things develop. Poultice's authority seems tenuous. I'll be glad to get back to my own matters. Well, that's on hold for a while, I guess. Taller. Having problems, uh, Richard? Not especially, no. Actually, yeah. Actually, this yes. Is the most interesting. Sadly, my code of conduct forbids me from using my position for private benefit. Well, so you refuse to help. Wait a minute. What code? <laughs> yeah, what code? What's your business, Witcher? Okay. Having problems, Witcher? I'm just curious. Nothing I can't handle. Nothing I can't handle. Thank you. I'm glad. Really. Does it matter, Witcher? <laughs> All right, well, whatever. Uh, right, merchant. Let's quickly uh, sell these weapons on our hip. And then maybe check out the Queen of the Night. Dusk. Yeah, none may say that at all. Hide your women. The witchers in town. Uh, merchants are packed up. I hope this guy actually. Hey, you. How may I help? Uh, you don't. Farewell. You don't buy things. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, bookseller. Some of them are still your merchant. Which you get up. No. Goodbye then. Alchemist is still here. Where's the guy? Where's the uh, the peddler guy? Always shop with your soul. Oh, bother. I miss him again. Booze vendor, Zerkanian alchemist, wholesaler. <laughs> A witcher can move this mess. And Roderick DeWet, both hail from Nilfgaard. Shall I see conclusions? Wasn't there a... A merchant backed by the Nerec Court out in the yard? I'm not even going the right way. Damn, it's hot in this thing. Pardon me. Yeah, serving the crown. I'm not even going the right way. Again. <laughs> ah, the bookseller. A good book, perhaps. Perhaps. I have a lot of money now. I could actually afford to start buying some of these things. Vampires, facts and myths, eh? Hmm. I think it's appropriate to actually pick that up right now, so I'm going to. The 
rest I think can wait at the moment. I may find something better, but uh, for now. Vampires, facts, and myths. The book contains information on lesser vampires like Fletters and Garcanes, as well as higher vampires, including Alps and Bruxelles. It describes methods of fighting blood drinkers and dispels myths that have accumulated concerning these monsters. Okay. Alps and Alp Fangs. Bruxa. And Bruxa Blood. I wonder if that's pronounced Bruja. You know, like witches. I believe that's a Spanish word. Alright. Uh, this is uh, ingredients. I'll just get those out of here real quick. And then we'll look at the monsters in the glossary. Bruxa. Bruxa choose to live in ruins and abandoned human settlements. More rarely in caves and grottos. They are fearless and resistant to stun attempts. Sensitive to silver and vampire oil. They attack by surprise. Try to daze their victims and drink their blood. Abomination lymph, nasen salts, and bruxa blood you can get from them. Um, it is said that at night, bruxa hunt attractive young men and drink their blood. These vampires move quietly in the dark to suddenly emerge near their victims. Bruxa may take the form of beautiful girls, leading some to mistake them for water nymphs. Yes, the Rusalkas, I think, is what Geralt mistook one of them at first in uh, The Last Wish. Uh, but their long fangs and unrestrained thirst for blood always betray them. We had the Alp, which was up here someplace. Here we go. Uh, Alps lurk in caves, ruins, abandoned houses, always near human settlements. They're fearless and resistant to stun attempts, sensitive to silver and vampire oil. Uh, Alps attack by surprise, try to daze their victims and drink their blood. Abomination limps, nasen salts, and Alp fangs. No other monster inspires so many myths and fallacies as the Alp. People believe that this vampire is able to turn into a black dog or into a venomous toad. They mistake Alps for succubi, believing them to be lecherous and inclined to seduce handsome young men. Folk tales describe their charm and their beautiful seductive voices, as well as their loathing of virgins. What is true beyond any doubt is that they move noiselessly and attack by surprise, rarely giving their victims as much as a chance to scream in terror. Lovely, lovely sounding. And this vampire oil, I don't think we have the formula for that. Much to my chagrin. Vampire oil. Down in the bees. No, we, we do not have that at all. Oh, hell. I wonder if there's something that we could buy to that effect. But we do have black blood. And I might just brew up some of that. Knowing what I'm about to kind of a can of worms, sort of coffin I'm about to open up. <laughs> a good book, perhaps. Uh, you don't happen to have any, uh, I'm going to sell this right back to you. Because I don't need it anymore. Uh, you don't happen to have any sort of alchemy book that gives me knowledge of usually the formula come on these scrolls. So, let me just mouse over these again. I wish it would just, I wish there was an icon change in what you've already bought so that you could quickly see the ones that you haven't without having to mouse over them. I know it's, it's modern game design, but it would be convenient. Okay, so insectoids. We already kind of know about those. Minerals, plants of the barren lands, druids herbarium, we already know that. Vaudinoi, vampires, and we have the Elemental Genies book. Okay, there's nothing there that seems immediately useful, so... Except maybe the Kickamores. We've already dealt with those, and we already have knowledge on them, I know that. So maybe later. Maybe later. I need to find that damn merchant who... This way. I used to see a bunch of merchants hanging around over here, but I don't think... And he's gone for the day, too. Ugh. What do, then? Uh, what sort of quests do I have? It's about evening. We should probably head over to the, uh, the Queen of the Night. House of the Queen of the Night. Oh, 
other than that, it's all the salamandra stuff. Yep. So, I spoke with Patrick DeWayze the night at the new Naracord. He says a vampire bit his sister, and she ran away from home to protect her family. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense here. Ran away from home to protect her family? Ran away from home... More like against her family's wishes. Uh, I promised to notify him and to find the girl. He never said anything about her running away because she wanted to protect them. I don't know how I would know that. Anyway, I'm going to just assume that's an incorrect entry or an assumption that Geralt is making for some reason. Apparently she has incredible blue eyes. I promised to find the blue-eyed girl who was bitten by a vampire. I should look, I should look around town. Well, uh, we know where to go the only place that we haven't been and the only place that makes sense. I believe I need my signet ring on. I will take this one off and put that on. That should do me. I'm going to get rid of these dumb hammers. I can't, uh, I can't buy to having all this crap all over me. I'll probably find something better anyway. Save right here too. I'm not in the right place. <laughs> Further up the road. No to be here, white -haired one. Of all the reason in the world, two swords on my back are my reason. Duty cool. What are you doing out here? Yes. You uh. Godspeed. You looking for a a break in the uh, the old I real estate to slip on in the door? Cool uh little discussion for the for the walks there seen that all over the place, and I was like, should have mentioned something about that. Hey, okay. The House of the Queen of the Night. For people who can't complain about the lightness of their purses, Zima's trade quarter offers entertainment of the highest quality. The most beautiful women await their clients at the House of the Queen of the Night. They offer refined pleasures and a chance to forget about the dreariness of daily life. Okay, well, let's get to loot. The torch, I will grab that. Ah, yes, private little uh, screens. Privacy screens, even. And Ooka. Ooh, very ritzy. Very glamorous. Eau Claire white wine, sure, why not? Cheese! Oh, that is very fine indeed. And a chicken sandwich and some goat's milk. We never did eat supper, so, uh, you know, make like we belong in the place and have a meal, eh? But that chicken sandwich. And... I don't know, maybe a light meal. Have another pair as well. Wash it down with some goat's milk, because we cannot be drunk in a place like this. That's for certain. Okay. What? No, oh, I meant to fucking brew up. You know what? We're investigating. We're investigating. I meant to brew up black blood, but you know, I shouldn't have come in this place. Anything could happen. I fancy that blue-eyed one. That one there, I take it. What? Let's just ignore her for now. City one. councilors in a place like this. Oh man. Everything was better before the Nilfgaard War. If the burgers only knew, man. Plenty of customers today. <laughs> we only serve the hard class. Terrible times. <laughs> I Let's see. Gold will fetch anything these days. Who will it? Quite a pleasing place. Uh, I can see why. Everything was better before the Nilfgaard War. Ah, we only terrible serve times. Higher class people, sweetheart. Higher class. Yoo -hoo. And you. 
plenty of customers. You don't look like one who can afford the entertainment here. Well, you know, you'd be surprised. I have 5,000 gold, so... Greetings, sir. Greetings, blue-eyed one. What would you have, my white-haired lord? Well, I wanted to start out friendly. talking. All right, let's speak. Giacomo Cassano claims nothing surpasses cultured conversation as foreplay. Ah, uh, fellow Italian. They know what's up. Uh... I'd like to spend the evening with you. You know, there's worse things that have been suggested. Uh, what do you dream of, Blue Eyes? What do you dream of, Blue Eyes? <sighs> I would like the night to last forever. Not knights on white steeds and other nonsense. I'm no ordinary girl. I can prove it. Simply ask. I think your brother might be looking for you. I think your brother may be looking for you. What? No! I have no family. You sure? Mm. Entirely. This is my home. My sister's yeah. of the night. I must be mistaken. Yes. <laughs> no, no, I don't think I would like to spend the evening with her. We're here to save her, not take advantage of her. Never mind. Take care. I saw a blue-eyed girl at a brothel. Could this be the knight's sister? I should ask the knight if the girl from the brothel is his sister. Hey, man. We're closed. The lady of the night won't see just anyone. I have something for your mistress. You have something, you say? So go to a brothel and put it to good use. <laughs> Shove off. Figured I was I thought one. this was a brothel. Yes. This is the night house, the best brothel in Tamaria. It's not for vagabonds in leather rags. I have gold. You won't bribe me. We could bribe him or try to, which I don't think works. We could show him the signet ring. I don't intend to at the moment. I'm going to save first. I don't intend first. to. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. I didn't want this. I didn't assume that's what that meant. Why would... Why would that mean that? Oh, come on, man. Come on. Can I just... Can I slip up? <laughs> Goodness gracious, this is ridiculous. You know what? It's a good, it's a good thing I saved beforehand, because I didn't mean to just straight up beat his ass, but I guess we're beating his ass in the middle of the brothel here. Well, you asked for it, Tubby. Everyone's just standing around like nothing's happening. Time to oh, die. Geez. Look, just that's what I'll do. Sit down. I'm not even gonna go up there, you know, because I don't feel like that was a sensible Till reaction. Tomorrow. You know. I don't I don't intend to pay you, so I'm gonna beat your I'm ass. I'm doomed. Come in. Uh, I'm doomed. My guy. Like what even? What even was that? That's insanity. I'm not even gonna save that, because it's just silly. Alright everyone, now that, that unpleasantness is through, uh Let us head back to the inn and uh, speak with the knight. Also level up. Again. I believe we had another level. Unless I'm mistaken, and uh, that was in a different part of the recording. Which is very possible. Hopefully get in there before any more kick and more show up. Us. That is so. Okay. The taller is still here. I don't have anything else to say to you. Having problems, Witcher? Nope. None. But thanks for asking. Nobody knew it. 
somebody new here. You'll only bring trouble. And nothing to sell, really, actually. How can I help you? You can, uh... I can't sell that to you, oddly enough. I do need more... I need to remember to brew potions as well. All right, innkeeper. Patrick, uh, Patrick Swayze is not here at the moment. A famous monster slayer gracing my modest inn. Greetings. Can I help you? I wonder if uh, Patrick Swayze was in any vampire movies. I wonder if that's the reference that I'm not getting. Was he in like, uh, what was that damn 80s vampire movie called? Uh, I'll never remember it. The Lost Boys or whatever. You know the one. Um, I need rest. Got a room? I need Western rest. Mark. Got a room? Yes, five orins. Yeah. You're getting all kinds of my business. I could have slept over at the gambling den, I suppose. This is just such a much nicer place, though, you see. Uh, I want it to be morning... But then I'm going to have to rest again. But regardless, we're making it noon. Did I level up? No, I'm just crazy. That was that was a, another dimension. In another time and in another place, I did level up. Right, so let us initiate. And I am recording. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's an off kind of day, everyone. It's very off today. But uh, I need to talk to Pat. So let's go ahead and do that. Stand still. The good sir here, yes, he is. He's got a shield on. Very different armor, Pat. He might be. Yes. Sure, though. There's a blue eyed courtesan at the whorehouse. Man, I hope he doesn't My take sister offense. would never degrade herself so. Oh, boy. I have no proof, but this woman matches your description. Yep. Obtain proof. My family's honor is at stake. I'll do what I can. Okay, how in the hell am I going to obtain that kind of proof? She says... She denies it. Honestly, her manner... Sounds like she's in a cult, to be perfectly honest. That's, what I'm, that's the vibe I'm picking up from it. It's where she has no family anymore, and all she has is her sisters of the night, or whatever she called them. Very cult-like. Patrick DeWayze refuses to believe the girl at the brothel is his sister and must find some way to prove it to him. Must prove that the girl from the brothel is the knight's sister. I should go back there. Shit. Patrick. Do not anger me further. We shall speak tomorrow. Oh, bloody hell. You're different. How interesting. Yes. You're most welcome. Greetings. Can I help you? Well, you can, uh... I need rest. Got a room? Yes, five orange. I forgot to brew the damn potions anyway. I knew I was forgetting something. We will be forgetting this time. Let's, uh... Do our alchemy here real quick. We're going to brew up... Some... We don't have the ingredients. Salmon. Bombs. Yeah. Necrophage oil. I don't think necrophage oil affects vampires, because vampires in The Witcher are not necrophages. They're not actually undead, as far as I know. Black blood is what we're after. And we need uh, probably a strong potion base for that, but we can't brew it, because why? Because we need the better type, which is white gull to start with. I need to not do those. I need to do, what? what is that? White gull. Two blues. Myrtle. We have plenty of Redanian Herbal, don't we? Yeah, we're good there. We can use that. Two blues and a green. And we have the most of this Cadaverine. Oh no, Celandine is still the favored. Next 
that up, and then we can do necrophage. Not necrophage oil, but uh, the black blood. There we go. Okay, that's those are all blues again. Two, three, a green, which is going to be celandine, and a pink, Janisha, or a, what is that, a, a purple? Is that purple? Yeah, that's purple, so hellebore, plenty of hellebore. There's our black blood, and we need swallow, because we used a swallow. That'll do. We're going to rest until uh, dusk. Yeah, one hour after dusk, I think. Two hours. Let's do it. here. Oh, the black blood I'll look back when the time is right. Let's go. 